guys, I'm Emmy from CPS Home Sales and Lettings. We've put together a series of short how-to videos for first-time buyers and renters. Today, I'm going to show you the do's and don'ts of recycling. So we're all aware of this Mobius loop, meaning that the product can be recycled. However, many people often confuse it with this symbol right here. This means that the business has invested into a recycling fund. This does not mean that the product can always be recycled. Plastics are split into seven groups depending on what they're made of and vary on whether they can be curbside recycled. So the most common plastics are your bottles, your plastic containers and also your yoghurt pots. However, please double check the yoghurt pot lid and also film on certain packagings as these are not always recyclable. To double check these, check the labelling. Number one plastics like these are usually curbside collection. Your category two plastics are also for curbside collection. These typically are more rigid plastics and include sun cream bottles, shampoo bottles and ice cream tubs. Please double check labelling, however, these can be recycled. Category three plastics such as cling film are not for curbside recycling. Number four plastics such as frozen food bags, vegetable bags and bread bags. These are not for curbside collection. However, there are a lot of drop-off points at your local supermarkets that you can take them to. Number five plastics are typically your moulded plastics, such as takeaway containers, ketchup bottles. These are typically curbside collection, but double check of your local council. Lastly, your number six plastics are items such as polystyrene, plastic cutlery or packing peanuts. These can't be recycled in curbside collection, if at all. Black plastic. While this couldn't previously be recycled, new and improved equipment has now allowed this to happen. Please check with your local authority. Surprisingly, crisp packets, biscuit wrappers and also chocolate wrappers can't be recycled in your normal curbside collection. However, TerraCycle items can be identified with this logo right here. Please look online to find your nearest local drop-off point. So now on to cardboard and paper. Many people ask, should you take the sellotape or the labelling off these items? While doing so saves time during the recycling process, in reality, all these items get soaked in water, so the labelling should come off in any way. Next, wrapping paper. This always causes arguments in my house around Christmas time. Can you recycle or can you not? The simplest way to find out is the scrunch test. Scrunch the paper and if it stays in that shape, it's a good indicator it can be recycled. Although, don't recycle anything that contains foil. Window letters, these can be recycled as normal for curbside collection. However, kitchen towels can't be recycled at all. These will need to go in your general waste. Compostable products like this cup. While great on the face of it, only a small proportion of these can be recycled at home. Just double check the label in. Look out for the compostable at home symbol, which means it can be left to break down with other home compost. Is cleaning out pots and jars before recycling being overly fussy? Well, the cleaner the item, the more efficient the recycling process is. Thus, I would always recommend washing your items out before recycling. The more contamination means a lesser quality product. For pizza boxes, anything more than a light smear of oil is a no-go. Just remember, one non-recyclable item can either ruin a batch or worse still, damage machinery. Thus, the one basic rule for recycling a home is, if in doubt, leave it out. For more handy how-to videos, check the link below. Hey.